I'd like to start by taking a moment to thank the teachers, staff, and the institution that is Hall for all that they've done for generations of living in this city. It has been said that real education is the architecture of the soul. And if that is truly the case, then the foundation that you've received from your years spent at Valhalla Hall will endure for a lifetime. The kind of care and quality that we put in support for the next generation of leaders is unparalleled, and for that we should all be grateful. I'd also like to thank the class of 2016 for inviting me to share this special day with you. It is an honor to be here once more, steeped in the sisterhood of the age. There's 13 years between where I'm standing right now and where you're sitting, and I have been racking my brains for the last month trying to figure out how to relate to you given that time and space between us. I ended up writing a whole bunch of things that I really wish somebody had told me, and I put it all in a letter that I wish more than anything I could have given to the 17 year old version of myself. Since it's impossible to share it with her, I'm going to share it with you in the hopes that you can find some wisdom where she only has the benefit of hindsight. Dear younger me, don't waste time. It's so precious. And even though you think otherwise, you don't have much of it. So use it wisely. Some people have lived more in 20 years than others have lived in 80. So make the most of every moment. Your choices today, they do matter. They will shape your life in ways that you can't even begin to imagine. And each choice has the power to set you back or catapult you forward. So choose wisely. You have a lifetime of memories to make and the benefit of youth on your side. So find that delicate balance between living in the present and preparing for the future. Be careful with the company you keep. The people you surround yourself with define you. Make sure that the people you choose to be in your circle lift you up and drive you to be better. Don't settle for anything less. You are worth it. Empower the women you love. It is well known that behind every successful woman, there is a tribe of strong women who have her back. And this becomes even more important after today. Your BH family offered you a safe space to nurture and develop the strong woman that you are. But when you leave those doors, you enter into a world steeped in misogyny and inequality, where women are often considered second-class citizens, and to this day we still earn 75 cents on the dollar for every dollar that the man makes. Empower the women around you and incredible things will happen. Alone, yeah, you can absolutely make a difference, fight the good fight, but together you are a force to be reckoned with. One that can tear down the patriarchy and shatter blood Love yourself. You are beautiful just as you are. You will waste so much time worrying about how you look, what people think about you. Don't wait for someone to show you your self-worth. That is something only you can discover. Learn to love yourself with all of your imperfections, and I promise the rest will fall into place. Know the difference between success and money. Success has nothing to do with the clothes you wear, the car you drive, or the house you live in. The true mark of success will always be found in the content of your character, the quality of your ideas, and the kindness of your heart. You are not alone. Whatever battles you are fighting and whatever demons you have to face, know that you are loved and that love will see you through. Never stop learning. An education is something that no one can ever take from you. It will help you achieve your goals and it will give you the confidence in your ability to meet challenges head on and conquer them. And go see the world. A wise doctor once said that this is one corner of one country, of one continent, of one planet, of just one corner of the galaxy. It's a corner of the universe and it's constantly growing, shaping, creating, destroying. It's never the same for a single millisecond. So go see it. Go see it, touch it, taste it, feel it with all your heart, and trust me when I say you will regret it. You are more powerful than you think. As a woman, you have within you the power to create, transform, nurture, but ultimately, the most powerful weapon you have is to be the best version of yourself that you can be. And that's so that you can create a better world around you, and that's where real power lies. And the ability to make change in a positive way. Start early, find a cause, a fire.
fires you up and set the world ablaze with your passion. And defend those without a voice. It is never too early to start standing up for what's right. You are poised to lead change in a world that so desperately needs it. A world where the pursuit of profit has almost drained this earth from its natural resources, and global environmental upheaval is almost sure to affect every aspect of human life. Where climate change is expected to create 150 to 200 million refugees in the, by 2050, where social inequality runs rampant as 22,000 children die each day as a consequence of poverty. Where the population growth is increasing at an alarming rate, which eventually means the world will demand for water will outstrip supply by as early as 2040. But you, you have the distinct privilege of being in a position to address these global challenges. And whatever your future holds for you, always remember that it is the responsibility and privilege to stand up to injustice. We owe your privilege in the name of injustice, and in the name of justice, and you will never have to doubt your course, whichever path you choose. Graceful in victory and defeat. Life is filled with unexpected challenges that will push you to your limits and require you to be stronger and braver than you ever thought possible. Sometimes it's a failed exam, a job you didn't land, a moment of overwhelming anxiety as you're sitting in your first year university course surrounded by 200 people you don't know, and of course, broken hearts. These moments will help shape the woman you are. Learn from them, respect them, and always keep going. Honor the space between what is no longer and what is yet to be. And you are stronger than you know. Your rope will come crashing down with one phone call on a cold September morning, not that long after your complication. That one phone call will steal your heart and shatter it into a million pieces. The day Dad dies, We're both too young for this. But you will pick up the pieces and you will keep going. And the scars from this one will take a long time to heal. But keep your head up, it gets better. Be patient. The hard work really starts today. If you walk out those doors and it begins with taking the time you need to explore yourself. Find out what really makes you tick. And whatever you're doing, let your passion lead you. It will take a while for you to find out what that means, but don't be afraid to try new things until something fits. Always be an optimist. Be a hoper of far flung hopes and a dreamer of improbable dreams. But be practical about how you choose to pursue them. Take risks, but don't be reckless. Go skydiving, but don't smoke cigarettes. Travel alone, but don't take drinks from strangers. Wear your heart on your sleeve, but always keep your guard up. Stay up until sunrise every once in a while, but always try to get enough sleep. <laughs> be fearless, be brave, and above all else, be true to yourself. You're in for one of the right here, but don't worry. You got this. Sincerely, with great love and thanks and respect for the struggle, your future self. So ladies, I hope you take that as a warning from the 30-year-old version of yourself. <laughs> always keep her in mind. Oh, warrior princess, save the world by. You show them what the age girls are.